We all have seen concrete structures from small houses to skyscrapers. In fact, we all live in one. The use of concrete has boomed in the past couple of decades. Thus, it is the most widely used construction material. Hi, in this video series, I will be discussing about design of concrete structures, which comes as a part of SYK2 curriculum. The course is divided into six modules. In each module, we will be dealing with a different concrete member. In the first module, we will study about the different design philosophies and also get to know about what is concrete and what is reinforced concrete. In the second module, we will be dealing with the design philosophy, limit state method and its concepts. And also, in third module, we will come across the beam members, that is, horizontal members in the structure. And the fourth and fifth module we will be dealing with slabs and how they are designed and how deflection affects the scene. In the sixth module we will deal with column structures that is compression members and also the various types of staircases. So what is concrete? Concrete is a mixture of three major ingredients. They are coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, cement and proportionate amount of water. If we mix this together, what we get is called a plain cement concrete or PCC. If you make a beam of plain cement concrete like this model here and we apply a force on it, a beam deforms and also bends. It bends in such a way that you can see that the top portion experiences compression and the bottom portion experiences tension. We know concrete is weak in tension but strong in compression. So what happens is after a particular load the concrete PCC beam fails. To avoid this problem and to make concrete a bit more stable what we do is we add what is called a rebar or a reinforcing steel bar. A normal reinforcing steel bar like this one will be able in variety of sizes. In here it is written TNT bars. TNT means thermo-mechanically treated bars. And these bars consist of ribs. These ribs helps in providing more bond to the concrete. Hence we provide a plain cement concrete beam with a reinforcement. A reinforcement may be provided at such a zone that is where concrete is weak. Concrete is weak in tension. So we have to provide the reinforcement in the bottom portion. This is what is called a reinforced cement concrete. A reinforced cement concrete is a plain cement concrete embedded with steel bars. Reinforcement bars that we add on the tension zone of these concrete beams will take up all the tension thereby making it more stable and reliable. So the question arises how many rebars should be added? or what is the size of the variety of rebars that should be added. They are available from 8 mm to a variety of sizes. All these are given as a guideline in a code book that is called IS456-2000. In this code book, what we see is a guideline for all the designers and help them in understanding and making their work more easier. So now you understand the difference between plain cement concrete and reinforced cement concrete. Thank you for listening. In the next videos, we will be taking up the different design philosophies and the properties of various ingredients in a cement concrete.